Hi guys, Varun here from Phone Aina and we are going to be unboxing the all new just launched Samsung Galaxy S5 which has gone on sale across the world on April 11. So this is basically an international version of the Samsung Galaxy S5. This is a T-Mobile version which I picked up here in San Francisco. So basically this is a, a different uh, model compared to the one being sold in India. The Indian version has a Octaco processor, Samsung uh, Exynos processor. Whereas this one is actually powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801. So that's actually a quite a big difference between the two devices. But apart from that, not much is different. So this is the retail package here you get at T-Mobile. So this is basically the uh, model number Sam G900 T 16GB white. And uh, yeah, so you have uh, the specs on the back and it says Galaxy S5 on the sides too. The same wooden uh, box, uh, wooden finish false wood box. Uh, then you have the T-Mobile logo here since it's a T-Mobile device. It's a strangely uh, not carrying T-Mobile packaging but Samsung packaging which is kind of new. I did see that AT&T also carries the this kind of package with an AT&T logo. Normally AT&T has their own box. I've seen it for other devices but for Samsung uh, I think it's kind of Samsung dictating the terms uh, and uh, we're already sort of the black so had only the white so I thought I'd get that and show it to you guys so here is what you see is the big difference between the Indian version and the uh, um, international version so this is the LTE version so you get a 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor on the inside uh, apart from that everything else is the same uh, so let's quickly go ahead and unbox this guy and take a look at the device itself. So that's the flap. So it has the number 5 on the front. This is seal. Doesn't seem to have any region locking on this device like we have seen from rumors from uh, or some stories from Europe about the Samsung Galaxy S5 being region locked to the region in which it's sold. So it's actually locked to T-Mobile currently uh, and could get easily unlocked. So this is the device itself. Uh, pretty lightweight like all as, as always uh, Samsung devices uh, come without the battery inside and still very plasticky and all that uh, so this is the back <laughs> with some many people have been making jokes about the back saying a band-aid uh, and all that stuff so yes it does look funny and a lot different from the back cover of the Samsung Galaxy S4 so let's put the phone aside for a quick second and take a look at what else is in the box you also get uh, actually a T-Mobile uh, SIM card, an advanced SIM card, which is uh, for payments. So that's something uh, the store told me. And what else do you get? So you have a welcome booklet. Looks like a health and safety guide. And then you have a return label, limited warranty. You get a AC adapter. So let's check out the battery. It's supposed to be a 2800. Oh wow, it's a battery. It's a funny shape on this one compared to it. Looks like the battery on the BlackBerry Z10. So it's a 2800 mAh battery here. That's what the spec sheet says. Yes, so 2800 mAh. And yes, it's a really weird shape. And uh, this is the uh, extra earbuds. This is the earphones. Uh, seems pretty much the same which came with the S3. And then you have a micro USB 3 cable, very similar to the one on the Note 3, micro USB 3, because it charge the phone faster. And you also have the AC wall adapter, 2 amp output. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's put all this aside and uh, put the battery into the phone and uh, power it on. So yeah, so this is the phone itself. So let's quickly get rid of the uh, wrapping gear on the back. Ensure the back cover. So the big story about the S5 is, is that it is dust proof and water resistant. It's not waterproof like the Xperia range of phones from Sony, but it's still water resistant. I'm not sure how much of water it can take or uh, how water resistant it is. As you can see on the back, you have a art rate monitor and a 16 megapixel camera. As you can see, it's pretty pointed out and on actually here you have actually a fingerprint sensor as well and you have a really nice uh, display 
full HD still and uh, you have so let's quickly open up the back cover let's get rid of this uh, all this plastic here and here and let's take a look around the device so yeah it seems uh, pretty much similar to the uh, Galaxy S4 but yes here you have it so you have a micro SD card slot as well and a micro SIM card slot so it supports cards up to uh, actually 128 GB for the very first time the HTC One M8 also supports this uh, kind of. so as you can see uh, there's nothing special on the back cover for the water uh, pro water resistant stuff so it gives a different feel on the back so as you can see the port is sealed on the bottom for the micro USB so that water won't get in so you'll have to actually open it up we have a door for that now just to prevent the water from going in so that's the uh, micro, USB, micro USB 3 port so let's quickly power on the device same uh, positioning of the uh, so it's powering on so let's quickly get rid of the screen uh, sheet so it's putting up it says powered by Android it's a new requirement Google has asked OEMs to show when the device is booting on so this is actually a T-Mobile device so it's uh, showing the T-Mobile logo the sound came in a bit later though so asking for the device and Wi-Fi and all that stuff so let's all skip this so yes this is the uh, home screen so it says uh, something a warning about the um, back cover and the ports just to prevent the water from entering them so yes here you have it actually running on a new version of TouchWiz and something I did and my magazine popped up like you have to actually swipe to the left I guess okay that's in something I was expecting so yeah well, let's go and quickly into the settings and take a look so wow TouchWiz is a lot better or seems very different now so let's go into the uh, settings to check the software as you can see it's a finger uh, print uh, scanner here a finger scanner here it's a pretty cool feature kind of borrowed from the <laughs> iphone and oh we have download booster on this as well we showed it to you from mobile world congress and let's uh, not able to go into the software i'm not sure where is it it's like totally different this time around takes a bit of getting used to so about device so status and uh, about the software so you can see it it's 4.4.2 here and sm g900 t the screen is great it's actually powered by a qualcomm snapdragon 801 processor quad core running at 2.5 2.5 gigahertz 16 megapixel camera on the back along with an led flash and a heart rate monitor below that you have these loudspeaker here and you have the Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, branding on the bottom. The front you have a 2 megapixel camera right over here. And I don't know what these stupid sensors are here. I just kind of hate this pretty much every phone which is in white. You have an IR blaster on the top. Uh, so that's next to the earphone hole or the headphone jack. So you have the, uh, the IR blaster here. You have the volume rocker on the left. And you have the power lock switch on the right and you have the uh, keys on the bottom but then the build quality and the construction is slightly different from the s3 still plastic keys still uh, not metallic like the htc one m8 so it's probably the biggest uh, samsung phone to come out after something like the note 3 so you're going to be comparing the galaxy s5 with the HTC One M8 as well. So as you can see, the S5 is all plasticky, whereas the HTC One M8 is all premium and metallic. So it has both merits and demerits. So yeah, so the HTC One M8 also has a micro SD card slot now uh, and comes with uh, onboard storage plus a micro SD card slot. So we'll be doing an in-depth comparison later. The camera should be a great comparison between the two, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 and the HTC One M8. And you're going to be comparing the S5 with also something uh, from Nokia as well. So you have the uh, Nokia Lumia 1520, which actually is something like which competes with the Note 3, but uh, 
yeah so this is also something we'll be comparing the galaxy s5 to so because it has a 20 megapixel camera on the back and we'll also be quickly also comparing this with the uh, actually the iphone as well the iphone 5 s considering it has a fingerprint sensor so that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching so that was a quick unboxing of the samsung galaxy s5 international edition powered by qualcomm snapdragon processor and do check out our other unboxing of the indian edition as well which comes with the samsung exynos uh, uh, octa processor and do the like if you like this video and thanks for watching